I think it may be the old kitchen sink line too. This is two inch, it's copper. Uh, although the line coming underneath the ground from the kitchen sink line is cast iron and I'm underneath the steps back here. Uh, we can use this right here, but we may end up having to uh, go into the bathroom and tie in just after the toilet flange or somewhere right around there. So hold on, I'll show you. Okay, so this is the bathroom right here. Uh, and if we have to, worst case comes there, the kitchen sink line is coming over here, it's coming this way. It's like a foot to two feet deep as it comes through. Now there's that vertical stack right here. I don't know whether it ties in above or not. But if we're doing PVC, we could bring it in, bring it down the wall right here and jackhammer here or bring it in and tie it into that two inch stack right here. The floors are buckling because uh, there's no bottom to this pipe. Uh, and they're buckling real bad right through here and underneath the, uh, what's it called, the refrigerator right there. And so, the line actually runs this way and comes around this way. And I can get to right here, uh, which I'll relocate and put a mark on, but that's as far as I can get. And I can't really locate all this back here because it's underneath the... Uh, countertop so what I want to do is take out the garbage disposal jackhammer down right here with a chipping hammer and come out now you could actually probably do it in lazy Susan if you want to and have more room but come out come out in front of the dishwasher right here because there's no sense for it to be back there anymore bring it over and 45 back to the old line 45 back this way and then video the rest of it we'll video it to see how it looks and then uh, you know so that we can follow it I'm gonna give them two prices one to do the whole thing and one to do just the reroute from there over to here, uh, really over to this wall, because I know the break comes out this far.